G'day YouTube, this is my cheap, nasty and unscripted review of the latest release of Lubuntu 18.04, so we'll get into it. So first of all, I've got the terminal open, so what I might do is actually pop in a command just to confirm the version release, and here we go, so Ubuntu, technically, Ubuntu 18.04 uh, long-term service release. So it's actually Lubuntu this distribution is, as you can see, it's very uh, lightweight in nature. So I'll uh, get into it. So first of all, let's see, uh, it is using one of the latest kernels. So I'll just type that in, uh, pop in a command there and see it's 4.15, which is great to see. That's good to see. Uh, the desktop, of course, is the LXDE desktop environment there. So it's a play on of words for the uh, the version of Ubuntu called Lubuntu. It's basically LXDE plus Ubuntu, which makes for a very, very lightweight and a very cool operating system in that way. It is a little bit less intuitive. Uh, you, you kind of might not know um, how to find things as fast as say in the GNOME desktop interfaces and other things like that, KDE, but uh, it doesn't really need to be that intuitive. It's just like an old XP machine really. If you want to open up a terminal, you just uh, go to the system tools. If you want to open up, let's say, task manager, as I've already done, just open up uh, task manager. So it's that simple. Uh, the whole point of this distribution is to be lightweight. So as you can see it's only using about 250 uh, megabytes of uh, RAM which is fantastic. I have a Windows 10 machine at home and uh, straight off the bat as soon as I load it up it's already using 1.7 gigabytes so 1700 megabytes which is ridiculous and uh, in fact I have uh, dual booted to put Lubuntu on that uh, that machine in fact a laptop just to make it easier to run so uh, this it's great for old hardware. Now let's see if we uh, can check a few other things such as the file manager otherwise known as the Windows Manager. Let's see what they're using. So they're using a very lightweight version of a file manager. It's uh, f it has it's fully functional. It's great. It's nice and easy to use. Drag and drop everything that you want to do. It's called PC Man FM. Uh, currently in version 1.2.5. Uh, let's see, so moving on, uh, that's actually probably all I wanted to talk about. Basically the desktop environment, which is the LXD desktop environment. Uh, the uh, the file manager, which is a very lightweight uh, file manager there. We've got the, the kernel, uh, the, the sort of the RAM. Uh, CPU usage is always going to be quite low. Uh, one thing that I really want to state on this one is uh, the uh, the developers have kind of gone in different directions with Lubuntu. So if you really want to download it and try it out, I recommend you get it from the Ubuntu website, technically speaking, and I'll show you that right now. So if you go to Ubuntu, go down to Downloads, go to all Ubuntu Flavors, and you'll see them here. And you'll see if you hover over Lubuntu here, there we go, down the bottom you'll see Lubuntu right there when I don't have my mouse there, lubuntu.me, that's the website you want to go to, that's the officially supported one uh, from Ubuntu. There is another site called lubuntu.net, apparently it uh, consists of only one guy that has gone in a completely different direction and it's not quite supported at all by the Lubuntu team. So just to be safe, go to the Ubuntu website to get the link to download Lubuntu. So that's pretty much it guys, um, let's actually see if I, in fact since I've got the web browser open right now, you'll see it's only using about uh, half a gig of RAM and uh, Firefox is pretty heavy, we could also always uh, switch to uh, Chromium browser, that sort of thing, but uh, that's pretty much it, if I were to close that out we might uh, jump back to very very little RAM and I, I can't say, I can't state how much I love this, uh, this distribution just because it's lightweight, fantastic for either A, older machines or B, uh, it's just underpowered new machines such as netbooks. Fantastic for netbooks. It's got the full functionality of Ubuntu without uh, without sacrificing too much at all, apart from slight parts in a GUI with a more intuitive interface, but you don't really need it when you just want to click on a few things to get it going. Uh, let's say graphics or whatnot, or internet applications, transmission, anything of that nature. It does come with a whole suite of software as well, and I keep on harping on about this one, but um, I, with most distribution reviews, I don't get into software too much because pretty much for most distributions you can download and run any uh, piece of software that you really want in Linux. Anyway, so cheers guys, super quick, cheap and nasty review, completely unscripted as I said and uh, yeah, cheers guys, uh, have, a, have a good one.